All right, so I've got a lot of questions about how I make my planets in my speed photoshops of uh, space scenes. Um, and so I figured I would create a tutorial on how to do that or show you guys exactly how I was doing it. Pretty much I follow to the T um, a tutorial made by Greg Martin, and uh, the link is provided to you in the uh, upper right in the info panel. Believe it or not, creating a planet in Photoshop is actually fairly simple, and it's not that much of a daunting task to begin with. So don't get dismayed by uh, any of these great pieces of art that you see online. It's actually fairly easy to do as long as you have the right tools to do it. To start, I have a canvas that is 500 by 500 in size, and I fill the background with black. After creating a new layer, I use my elliptical marquee tool and holding shift down I create a perfect circle that takes up about two-thirds of this uh, canvas. Fill that with black as well. Select your brush and change it to your airbrush. Now you'll see all of these presets you can use any of these as long as the hardness is at zero Increase the diameter to 300, or around there. Change the mode to linear dodge, and lower your opacity to 30%. Now what this is going to do for us is allow us to add uh, different tones of the color that we're, going to plan on, that we're going to use for our planet. You don't have to use this color, you can use absolutely any color that you want. So paint an area with a uniform color first before you go on and add a second or even a third uh, tone to create this nice gradient effect. After you've done that, you want to add a texture to the planet to make it more look more realistic. Now, Adobe naturally comes with textures as preloads, and you can see them here. You see that there's nature patterns that you can work with, grass, leaves, flowers. I like to use the rock patterns. If you don't have any of these, it's very easy to get some. Just open any downloaded texture in Photoshop. Go to Edit, say Define Pattern, name it, anything you want and you'll see that it's been added. Back to the planet, using the texture that I just downloaded. You want to use a nice swift and strong stroke, making sure that all of these sets are still the same. If you stay in one place too long, it's just going to fill up to a uniform color and there's no point in having the texture. Afterwards, you can go ahead and single click in to add more highlights where you think they are required. After this, you want to distort it and make it into a sphere. So go to Distort, Spherize, crank it up to 100%, and do this one more time with only 50% for the second. Because we distorted it, cut it out using Control C or Command or Control X, sorry, and or Command X. And you'll notice the reason I do that is because you'll see that there's this one pixel wide circle that goes all the way around. Ditch that old layer to get rid of the circle and create a new one to paste the planet in. So now we have this nice fresh perfect sphere. which we're going to name our planet. Duplicate this layer and we can start working on our atmosphere. Double click on the layer and you'll get these blending options. Change the blend mode to linear dodge 
and lower the opacity to fill opacity to zero. And we're going to be using our outer and inner glows right now. So select your outer glow. Again, change to blend mode to linear dodge. But decrease the opacity to 70%. We're going to use a color that's that's reminiscent of an actual atmosphere, um, which is going to be a nice pastel blue color with a little bit of gray. I'm going to use this color right here. It doesn't really matter what color you use. It's up to you. However, I'm going to copy this hex code here because I'm going to need it a second time. Increase this uh, size to 15% or 15 fix. And then I'm going to drop an inner glow again with the linear dodge, 70% opacity. And here's why I copied it. I'm going to paste the hex code that I copied here and increase the pixels to 50. Now you see we have this nice planet effect, but there's still a planet in there. So to separate the effects from the planet, add another layer, link the two together, and then merge it using Command E, Control E, or right click and say Merge Layers. Now what this does, obviously, so it leaves just the atmosphere and no planet inside. Name that atmosphere. And then I'm going to use the erase tool with these same settings as always to erase the atmosphere that's covering our dark spot to make it more realistic. I use single clicks each time to slowly take it away because it's easier to take something away than add it back again. Now we have a nice nice planet going on here, but it's not realistic enough. If you notice, we have this nice texture going on, but there's no 3D elements, no small details to make it look like it's actually a mountain range or anything like that. So duplicate your planet layer, and how we do that is using the emboss. So go to Filter, Stylize, and Emboss. This angle needs to be pointed at the dark spot of the planet that you had already left. Here it's between 20 and 30 degrees, so I'm going to say around 32 or 33. Height is going to be 1, and make sure the amount is all the way up to max 500. You'll notice that there's these different hues in here, which we can't use. It needs to be monochromatic, so use your adjustments to desaturate the embossed layer. Duplicate it so you have these, so you have the two embossed. The top one is going to be your highlight layer, and the bottom one is going to be your shadow layer. How to make your highlights? Go to adjustments and use your level tools. Take your black droplet and select the gray that's out here that's a uniform gray to make everything black and bring out the white spots for your highlights. Do the same thing but using your white droplet on the shadow level uh, layer to create this white and so you can show all of these dark spots as your shadows. Change the layer options to linear dodge for the highlights and shadow to multiply. And you'll see that you have these nice highlights and dark spots on the planet's surface. Although they're a little blatant still, change the opacity of your highlights to 50% and the opacity of your shadows to 70%. You'll notice that you still have this white ring that goes around it. That's from your highlight layer. So select your highlight layer, and using your erase tool, you can just get rid of that line. And that's pretty much it for the planet.